homeschool is such an important day. It's a day that you can do a lot of corny little school activities and kids like corny school activities probably just as much as we do. So today I'm gonna help you guys out by giving you really cute and simple 100 day of school activities and games that you can play with your children. Hey fun people, welcome back to Everything Aja. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Aja. I am a homeschool parent who's also been a teacher and an administrator. I've combined all my years of experience in education in order to help you make teaching as simple and fun as possible. And one way I can help you make teaching very simple is by giving you some really cute and corny 100th day of school activities that you can play. These also work if it's your 100th day of homeschooling. So join me for today as I give you 10 really cute activities and things you can do. Now our first activity is called the pencil hunt. And if you want to rename it to the crayon hunt, marker hunt, I don't care. In the morning, you'll tell children to go ahead and count all the pencils they are going to find throughout the day. Then as the day progresses, you will then kind of take them around in a tour. They can go in other people's classrooms and they're going to be able to collectively count all the pencils they find throughout the day trying to see if they can find 100 pencils. In a school, that should be very easy. Now the next activity is one that we probably have all seen and I wanna call it the old cereal necklace. What children will simply do is make a necklace using yarn and some cereal in the shape of an O. Cheerios, Fruit Loops, Apple Jacks. Now the next game is called School Charades and because it's the 100th day of school, the object of this game is to be the first team to make it to 100 points. You'll divide up all the children playing the game into two different teams. Then you're going to display my free school charades game down below in the description on a board or projector. When it's the team's turn, they'll choose one person to get up and act out one of the things that is on the screen. For each correct guess that their team guesses, that team will gain 10 points. Whichever team is the first team to 100 points, clearly would win and to make things fair you'll alternate in between teams because it's the 100th day of school each round will be a hundred seconds now the next thing you can do that people do all the time is have children dress up as if they were a hundred years old and all day they have to talk like this <laughs> Next thing you can do is have children do a hundred exercises. Yes, that sounds like a lot, but trust me, it's really not. You can have them do an exercise for a hundred seconds or actually do a hundred push-ups, a hundred jumping jacks, a hundred whatever. The next thing you can do is have children build with a hundred objects. So this is a really good STEM activity. Children can build a tower using a hundred blocks. They can build a city, whatever it is that you want them to build, just have them build something using a hundred of something. <laughs> march, 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 march. So while we're marching around our day, have children count the number of steps. And then once they hit a hundred steps for the day, they have to remember exactly where they were when they reached their hundredth step of the day. And then you can always turn this into a writing activity later by having them write exactly what they were doing when they reached their hundredth step of the day. Now, before I give you even more hundred day of school activities, if you're a person like me and want to work smarter, not harder, then you definitely need to download my free activity guide where I give you three activities that you can literally use for any lesson, any standard. No matter what you're teaching, you can always pull out these activities. So why work harder? Let's work smarter. The link is down below in the description. Now, throughout the day, they can only use 100 words. So that means that children have to actually count up how many words they're saying throughout their day. Once children reach 100 words of the day, they can't speak at all the rest of the day. So use your words wisely. You can also have them sign the board once they reach their 100th word of the day. The next thing you can do is what I call the 100 lick activity. Give children a lollipop, a sucker, whatever, but tell them that they must eat it using only 100 licks. Try to see how much of the sucker they can actually eat using only 100 licks. This game is really good for kids counting. Actually, all the games are kind of good for counting <laughs> because you're counting to 100. Go ahead and get out your big arts and craft box because our next activity is having the kids create their own 100th day of school monster. 
their 100th day of school monster has to have a hundred of something. 100 eyes, 100 nose, 100 buttons on their belly. Y'all get the point. At the end, go ahead and have the children talk about their 100th day of school monster. Having activities to do on the 100th day of school is nice and all, but what about all those other days where you simply need a break? You're overwhelmed, the kids are tired of learning, and you just need a 10 minute icebreaker for them to play? Then you need to watch this video next where I give you really fun icebreakers to do with children so that you can whew, chill out a little bit. See you in that video. And happy 100th day of school. Woohoo!